Hey. Hey. Alright. <laughs> what did I do today? I did this. This is just ridiculous. Screwed that up. Basically, today I just rebuilt um, a little, like, very simple animation system for him. Same one I used for the last little micro game. Just so I could explore other aspects of uh, what I'm working on, what I'm experimenting with. So you can see some of the logic that goes into like very, very basic walking and turning, which took forever because there's different settings for each like component of this here. You see like there is a camera, that's the video game camera. And I used a cinema camera this time because I wanted the focal length. I have it to be like a 50 millimeter camera. I've experimented with like 60 and 80, but the spring arm is the thing that prevents the camera from like basically breaking through the walls of the game while you're playing. So you can't, so like the wall won't come between you and the camera. But so the spring arm needs to be there and there can't be any separation between the camera and the spring arm turns out. So then today I also messed with a bunch of post-processing volumes to try to get some sort of new aesthetic for like this next game. Like I worked with, um, yeah, vignetting, which I really liked, and some like film grain, and uh, yeah, some. So this was a little. I bought a few worlds today that are all the exact same style like this, because um, I really like this aesthetic, and it is very like lightweight, so it's easy to. So you can see. The camera kind of jitters a bit. It looks really cute using a cinema camera, but what happens is, and look at that, it's out of focus because there's like a depth of field. I love all of that stuff. Like that I think is really, really powerful. However, it gets very glitchy going in and out of buildings and things like that. So it's essentially, it's incredible, but a little impractical. So what I'm gonna need to do, I don't know if anybody has played the Final Fantasy VII remake, but it's a combination of I'm gonna to need to cut to a series of static cameras, like, or I guess Resident Evil style, sort of. Um, so, I'll, like, the camera can follow you most of the time, but then I'll trigger events where there'll be a static camera so that it doesn't end up being all crazy like that. And of course, this walk cycle will go away. But this is what I worked on today.